Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are sapphire crystals. We have big one, huge one, and then we have this. It's a bit larger than crystal on your wristwatch. And how strong are these? I think they are going to be plenty, plenty strong. And thanks for Turtles Horde for sending the sapphire crystals. They sell sapphire crystals and other cool crystals. There is plenty of from Zeus. They have also crystals cut from similar giant sapphire that we have. It's actually from F35 stealth yet. The sensor cover that those are from. So go check them out. And thanks for, for sending these to be tested here. And I think we are going to test first the small one standing like this. And then move on the harder items. Okay, here we go. It's sideways, so I think it's not super strong. But I want to start like this to get a feeling for the material. Okay, here it goes. Oh, okay. I think it's stronger than we thought. Okay, five tons like that. I think it's going to be super strong when we flip it on its side where there's more surface area to take the load. And how about the high speed? I think it's going to be like 20 tons because it's so much bigger. Okay, it was completely different. That's interesting. But this was more damaged part than the previous one. Okay, now the high speed. Okay, and check out this. Ta-da! New high speed camera. And as it says, it's 4K. It's from Kron Technologies. Kronos 4K 12. So it's similar camera than we already have been using many years. But this model has 4K resolution and it's also much faster than the previous cameras. It shows 4K around 1000 frames per second. And when you lower the resolution, you get more frames per second. So this is going to be a great addition for the channel. And if you are not familiar with our history, we have been working with Kron Technologies ever since their first Kickstarter. I think it was 2016. And we have gotten free cameras from them a couple times. And this prototype camera is also free for charge on our use. And I'm going to receive my own 4K12 free of charge in the future when the production units are ready. And here, first I want to show you an example why the 4K resolution is so great thing on high speeds. Usually people don't watch social media stuff at 4K resolution. So you can zoom in a lot and it still looks great. And when you have zoomed in, you can of course then zoom out and follow the action when things escalate out of hand, as it quite often happens on our videos. And of course this also lets you capture multiple different aspect ratios at the same time with the same shot. Quite often things that you film with high speed cameras, they might be quite expensive to set up. And with the 4K resolution, you can get the vertical and horizontal at the same shot. And it's going to still all look really great. So that's going to save a lot of money and time on many productions. And this camera is prototype. It's running prototype software. So it's not like final yet. The old cameras have been getting better and better every year. There's a lot of software updates on these and these are easy to update over the internet. Okay, here it goes. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I thought that it's going to be boring. But this looks actually really nice. Hanna, come have a look. Ooh, lot of like shards, really sharp looking shards. Yeah. I think this is one of the uh, cases where the 4K resolution is really nice. <laughs> Ah, oh, when it shatters, we have a bit too much light. It changes somehow how it reflects. 
Yeah, but let's flip it other ways, how it's going to be stronger and see can we still crush it. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, it, I think this was a feel like... are really in interesting to crush. Oh 32 tons. I think we can crush this next one also. Yeah. Let's see high speed. Now I had it a uh, slightly darker setting, so it should look even better. And we got also a uh, larger area in focus because I had the lens a little bit closed. It wasn't wide open. Yeah, this is about 1000 frames per second and 4K resolution. So I think it's going to look nice when it explodes. Oh, uh -huh. it's like shooting. Yeah, and how fast they are going. Yeah, this oh. is, they're flying pretty fast and that's super sharp. But it doesn't generate much of dust. I, dust, I think the glass makes more dust. We have to like va <laughs> vacuum on to remove the dust, but this doesn't make any. Yeah, this looks super nice. <laughs> Okay, now it's about to go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> go, bro! Sapphire rain. Yeah. Yeah, and then the lamp. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really nice. Let's load the big boy in. Mm. Okay. This is again the point where I start to hate my job. This looks disgusting. It's so large. If it explodes, oh. then it's like it's going to be terrible conditions inside of the box. Whew. The GoPro didn't like the last round at <laughs> all. So <laughs> interesting to see how this goes. I just threw a new window for it or window the lens cap or whatever. Oh, I think we have to do it. No. That was terrifying. How much was it? Full, full 130 tons. The like cylinder rod is slightly bent. Yeah. We don't get any more the full power. We were really nervous. <laughs> we were so ner nervous that we forgot to switch on the main <laughs> camera. <laughs> but luckily we had a GoPro and the sensor camera and the new high speed camera running. We didn't trigger the high speed camera because it didn't explode. Whew, but that was that was that was terrible. Yeah, and I have a big announcement. We are going to get new picker press. It's already in production. I'm going to announce it properly on next month. But it's going to be over twice as large as this or twice as strong. So with that, we can easily deal with the rest of the sapphire crystals that we have here today. And I think I want to test with the glass item mm -hmm. to see what's the difference 
between the sapphire and glass. But let's first have a look what happened, happened to this guy here. Unfortunately, I think it broke from the like, oh, oh, oh my uh -oh. God. There's like, Oopsie. yeah, this is pretty broken. There is like long shards of sapphire coming loose. These are really, really sharp. Okay, then the last one. We have this magnificent glass artifact there. This should be really nice. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Glass. <laughs> yeah, it was much weaker. I think glass makes more dust. Of course, we have the dust extractions there, so we don't breathe any of that. But I think it makes more. Let's see how you how it looks on the high speed. <laughs> Ooh, that's mm -hmm. nice. There are some cracks starting from top of the thing. But this is great on the 4K mm -hmm. camera. We can zoom in on the details. <laughs> because you never know what happens and where you have to zoom and how wide it's going to be. So in the future videos, we can just zoom in on everything, on the, even on the high speeds and see like all of these details, what's are going on. Yeah, this is super nice. Oi! <laughs> My eyes hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Putting safety squids on. Oh! Yeah, that was super nice. Okay, this is saving now and go check out the new Kronos camera. Of course, they still sell also the older models. There is great camera on many price points and different uses now in their lineup. I can really recommend this. They have been so easy to use that we can use them on every video that we have. And that's great, great thing because you never know what happens there. And also thanks for the Sapphire crystals. There is link to also Sapphire jewelry store in the description if you want to get your small part of the Sapphire crystals or other crystals. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.